Hi, Scorpio. Let's get right into it, shall we? Scorpio, April 2020. Aries season. This should be a fun season for you. Hopefully you are staying home to the best of your ability. If you're not an essential worker. Yes, Queen of Wands and the Tower. Okay. So something about this Queen of Wands, this really powerful energy, has brought about, maybe this is you, maybe somebody else, we'll find out. Um, this has brought about, okay, that makes sense. I, f I feel that it is you, and I feel that what is sort of happening right now, or what has been happening the last couple of months for you all, is this sort of self-imposed tower moment that sometimes we will go out of our way to overhaul the structures and the foundations that no long are no longer working and we will in fact become our own tower moment. Meaning we will do what we need to do to blow away faulty structures, to um, blow away foundations that aren't working for us anymore. Um, we become the very thing that propels us into the tower moment. So it's not so much a tower moment as it is just taking absolute, what did I say? Agency, control, and charge of one's destiny. So the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, both surrounding this tower card further sort of solidifies my take on the reading so far that you all um maybe you were tired of feeling as though things were always happening to you um and instead of being a victim a lot of court card energy right a lot of energy of taking command so instead of allowing energies, people, places, circumstances to dictate the nature of your life and the route of which your life would take, you stepped forward and took charge of certain aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, cutting things out. Wow, these are really just flying everywhere, aren't they? Another queen, queen of pentacles this time, and the seven of wands. Okay. I'm feeling very serious energy. I'm feeling very serious, especially with the queen of swords and the emperor being here. I'm getting very serious vibes. Um, queen of swords, cutting people out, communication coming through, um, maybe an air sign potentially had some things to say to you. Um, that while may not have been nice to hear, might have felt like a burden, might have felt like it was too much to handle, too heavy to too heavy to bear, actually forced you into a space of really looking at yourself and looking at the very things that this Queen of Swords was saying to you. So, hmm, and. Uh, okay, it's all making sense now. So initially, right, whatever was said to you by this Queen of Swords energy, right? Let's let maybe let's take a look at that. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords energy. Let's see. Okay, whatever was said. Um, oops, I got a call. Um, whatever was said was obviously very strong in nature. Um, whatever was said, um, required for you to pull into your own reserves of strength. Uh, maybe you had a strong reaction to it and you were able to temper that strong reaction in the moment at the time. However, it doesn't change the fact that whatever was said was heavy um, and that you knew that the work that needed to go behind addressing this message, addressing the things that were brought to your attention, um, it's not going to be easy. Sounds like somebody might have had uh, a friend, maybe a lover, potentially a work situation. Um, 
maybe a coworker or a boss, like I said, a friend or a lover, could have could have been any one of these things that said that it said something to you. Hmm. But it did sort of create a need to look within. Your initial reaction. So now we have the seven of wands and the seven of swords. So feeling a need to fight it off and to stand your ground. And then maybe somewhere in there, the swords, the swords from the queen of swords, right? Mm, some uh, sticking pretty well and you picking up and leaving and saving face rather than saving ass. Hmm. I do see here, so what tends to happen is I, 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 the way in which the cards for me fall is they fall back, they, backwards, as we would say, because everything's linear for us um, within the context of this society. So I feel as though the Queen of Wands Tower and the Emperor indicate um, where you're stepping into as the season progresses. Um, and as we go into Taurus season and this, the, 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 um, later half of the reading actually speaks to what happened, um, what led you to, uh, being in this space now with the Queen of Wands, the Tower and the Emperor. Um, so let's get a better look at a few of these cards. I do, first, do we have any other messages for Scorpio? Hmm. Page of Swords, yeah. So now I feel as though as time goes on, the the words, I think initially what was said felt extremely overwhelming. It did come from a queen nonetheless, right? So it felt very overwhelming. It felt as though it was too much to really look at, too much to handle, um, a need and a desire to escape might have been, in, might have been instilled, uh, might have been the result of this conversation um and now I feel like the words the message doesn't feel so harsh anymore um maybe able to look at things with a lightheartedness with a detachment similar to a Gemini with like okay maybe this person had a point here maybe that person had a point there um and being able to see that the message itself wasn't <laughs> as overwhelming as you initially thought Okay. Let's look at this tower card. What's going on with the this newer energy of transformation? This thing that's, that seems to be out of your control, yet you are yet I feel as though you have taken agency to kind of create this moment for yourself. Like you know what you're doing. You know? This wasn't this tower moment was not a surprise. Okay, maybe it was. Maybe a little two of swords here. Mm -hmm. So maybe creating more of a blockade for yourself than you actually really need. I thought the two of swords for me is a card of martyrdom, right? This idea of like, well, I'll just sacrifice myself and um, I'll just sacrifice myself for the for the sake of everybody else. And mm, yeah, this is I feel like I feel like you throwing yourself into the woes of the tower movement or the tower the tower card tower moment is actually potentially an act of martyrdom on your part okay five of cups coming out a deep regret Maybe a deep regret over how you initially reacted to what appeared to be um, 
harsh words or words that were a lot to digest. Might have been true, right? With the strength card here, I, I, I have a feeling that whatever was said was true, though it did sort of impart a sense of, mm, left a bad taste in your mouth, so to speak. Okay, do we have any messages for Scorpio late, for later in the month? Where are we going to get to later in the month with Scorpios? for April 2020. The chariot. Everybody's getting the chariot. So I think this might link to um, maybe later in the month, a, a global, not global, but maybe more movement being, you know, allowed, right? We are in a quarantine. We are in a global pandemic right now. So movement is very difficult. Um and potentially towards the end of the month i think maybe movement begins to open up a little bit more um but i think for you all feeling strong feeling very certain about where you're going extremely certain about where you're going any other messages for Scorpio for April 2020? Yeah. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Yep. Let's keep. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's keep that one. Any last messages for Scorpio? So far, we have the Chariot, Ace of Wands, Justice, and the Nine of Wands. Y'all are going to be fine. You know, whatever was said, whatever happened, right, that felt so overwhelming initially, whatever it was, it did force you inward. It did force you to look at, okay, where might the truth be in this person's statement, in um, the breaking down of this relationship? Um, it forced you to look inward. And while your initial reaction might have been, to kind of run away and you might and you may have fought back right there may have been with the seven of wands and the seven of swords definitely an element of holding your ground um i believe the page of swords has now is now inviting a more innocent way of looking at the situation a more light-hearted less serious and less personal way of looking at the situation and maybe in doing that then spark some regret of like oh well maybe I could have handled things differently maybe I didn't have to go into a seven of swords seven of wands energy um maybe I could have handled things more gracefully um and I do believe that whatever was said sort of led you into the self-propelled tower moment King of Pentacles keeps wanting to come out. Um, let's get more clarification around this tower, mo tower moment here. Let's see what's going on here. I get the feeling that, it, yeah, it was something that you imposed upon yourself, right? Okay, but nonetheless, it, it, it was, it's still brought you some new opportunities. It still brought you some new beginnings. It still brought you a sort of fresh start that you probably really needed let's look at the emperor Can you clarify the emperor for me let's look at this emperor card hmm. okay the emperor doesn't seem oh i thought that you would never reveal yourself Ace of Cups. Initially, the Emperor felt a little bit um, secretive. So this Emperor could also potentially an Aries that you are interested in, maybe? Who knows? Is there an Aries on the horizon that you feel very new feelings for? And I don't even think that this person, I don't even think that interaction or very much has occurred with this person. Like you, you may not even be really dating this person quite yet, but there is a sense of feeling 
towards this person. And that feeling, it's, it's refreshing, it's new. Um, it's invigorating. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. So yeah, there, there could, for some of you, there could potentially be somebody, an Aries, a very strong, dominant figure, right? A very masculine figure who has, um, who has caught your attention, who has caught your eye. Queen of Wands. Let's look at this Queen of Wands. And then we'll jump back over. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. The Divine Feminine. Digging deep into that part of yourself. Becoming more receptive. Becoming less... forceful and sometimes by way of forceful even being manipulative i have a lot of really harsh pluto aspects in my chart which is why i think people sometimes mistake me for a scorpio quite often um I have Venus squares my Pluto at like point at zero point something degree, which is a very strong degree of, of squaring. Um, and one of the lessons I've had to learn from that aspect is that I usually often think I have to undertake backhanded or I have to force my way into getting the result or the thing that I want. Um, and that I have very little problem exerting right force. However, sometimes that force can very easily become manipulative um, and that my lens and my focus for the thing can blind me to the fact that I'm actually being truly manipulative, right? This is like in the worst expression of this aspect, right? This is not necessarily how I operate day to day, but it's one thing that I've had to become more aware of. Like, oh, okay, like that is something that I can definitely engage in if I'm not aware of it. And so I feel like with the High Priestess and the Empress here, with the Queen of Wands, which is your energy coming out initially, that there is this realization of like, mm, like I don't have to be so... I don't have to barge my way through every single door. I can actually sit and be more receptive, right? The, the, the high priestess is receptive and the empress is in fact the fruits of the labor of being, of doing nothing, right? Is in fact <coughs> what happens when we are more receptive, when we are more willing to just sit and to be open, um, and that if we are always trying to force things to happen and, you know, use tactics, that we end up in a space of regret. So for the rest of the month, we have Chariot, Ace of Wands, Justice, Nine of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So the Chariot, Ace of Wands, yes, new beginnings coming up. That Ten of Wands turns into this Ace. That Ten of Wands turns into this new beginning. No, the burden is gone. The heavy, the heavy load has been lifted. We go into justice. Things becoming balanced as they need to be. This is what goes up, must come down. Um, and an earth sign potentially helping you to rebuild and to rebandage after you have thrown yourself into this tower moment, right? From the tower moment, we have the page of pentacles. So earth energy, earth signs catching you as you fall, potentially, that the earth signs beneath you as you're falling out of your own self-imposed tower moment are saying, oh shit, like, they're doing it again and they catch you and they help you and they nurse you back to a state of being back in your power right but this time instead of forcing your way into desired results or instead of forcing your way 
into avoiding difficult conversations or pushing through the honest things that people have to say to you, there's more receptivity and from that comes the growth of the Empress. Hmm. Not a bad reading. Hopefully it made sense. I'm going to try and change the format for May for Taurus season. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this reading and I will be back um, for Taurus season, which will be six months out from your season. And um, I love you all and I hope you're staying safe and staying home and staying healthy and staying hydrated. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.